Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2152. I forgot the other name that they had for this. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I have number. SCP-2152. Object Class, Euclid. Revised Special Criterion Procedure. Oh, revised. SCP-2152 is to be contained within a soundproofed containment chamber at Bellacry Unit L5. Interaction with SCP-2152 warrants preliminary authorization from the off-site unit MPD, which is to disclose the containment and chamber entry code to any randomly non-dominated guard. Selects from the ratified sample of the unit and security population, which is, which is to be refreshed on a, uh, on a weekly basis. D-Class personnel are to enter SCP-2152's containment chamber unclothed. The nominated guard is to enter the, the disclosed code, direct D-Class personnel into the, the containment chamber without per personally entering the chamber themselves and close the door for automatic relocking. Upon closing the door, the entry code will automatically refresh. The nominated guard is to be their eye designated E class personnel is to be regarded as such until the subject passes their follow up of the psychiatric examinations. As per document REF 62. Document 62 post exp. Osher has its and psychological care. The effects of SCP-2152 are to be observed from a site observatory bay via a two-way mirror on the west wall of the containment chamber. D-Class personnel are to remain active within the containment chamber for no longer than 10 minutes. D-Class personnel are to be terminated within this juncture via lethal or auditory cognito hazard. Personnel are to be left within the chamber until the remains are fully dispelled under SCP-2152's anomalous effects. Description SCP-2152 is a marble or plinth mounted bust of assumed um, Catalonian origin, depicted an unidentified female character wearing a headdress. Prominent weathering upon the surface of the marble indicates that the item is an antique. This has been and speculated despite what appears to be a comparatively recent separation addition of pink latex based paint to the eyes. SCP-2152 generates two primary anomalous effects. Firstly, SCP-2152 emits a continuous, uninterrupted stream of popular music released between 1971 and 2000 from an unknown internal source. Increases as the possibility of operating SCP-2152 so as to determine its contents and nature of the source have been denied due to the speculative nature of its effects as a Euclid class object. Music generating from um, within SCP-2152 generally includes synth pop, disco, smooth jazz, hip hop, and euro and, and euro pop. At seven intervals, an internally generated female voice. It feeds the following message twice. Background music from this recording has been electronically removed for comprehension. And also, I'm not playing the audio because, uh, no, I don't need any strike on my channel. Prototype Capitalism has triumphed, and this is a celebratory watermark. Now is the time. Begin your ascent unto preternatural luxury and gaze into the heart of a prosperous future. You have all the time in the world, so sit back, relax, and absorb. Plant yourself into the flourishing waters of New Earth. Trademark. Deck chairs overlook island sunrises with your name on the horizon. Windows open to inexhaustible opportunity. Planes fly overhead. Congratulations, you are home, trademark. <clears throat> hmm. 
Secondly, SCP-2152 applies several preservative effects to any space that occupies that can be defined as a room. Previously observed anomalous effects include electrical power resources because they supply energy to devices indefinitely, unlimited preservation of food and spontaneous meat manifestation directly at the feet of any subject that consumes it, preservation of items or clothing with damaged items provided with spontaneous repair, dematerialization of dead biological material, automatic maintenance of personal hygiene. And examples include the lack of material. Uh, acted to with sweat molecules, spontaneous flu manifestation within in the auric cavity, tooth whitening, and I mean, get tooth straining with no results of physical train, physical pain. I mean, increased reaction rate. It, it's in human and intermediary metabolisms, continuous moisturization of the skin, and increase a secretion of extracellular molecules, which all can. At, within all compatible or bodily cells. Excluding the above effects, SCP-2152 additionally induces an approved subjective perception of beauty in humans, especially when in, in regards to architecture, contemporary art, and nature. This effect is extreme with passive expressing an immoderate vocal enthusiasm regarding the design and containment chambers in which they are situated. Addendums and restrictions of select personnel. Submit personal credentials. F-U-C-K-Y-O-U. Okay, we're, we're good. I have a template. Everly attaches annotations to the database archives to document an important incident involving this skip. As the immediate anomalous effects of SCP-2152 are still being explored and are not fully known, it is of the utmost importance that we analyze and attempt to determine the nature of what happened yesterday. Before I continue, this written text is expunged to those with subordinate and clearance. Don't panic. If you are to cross this and know nothing about what just happened, and if you're reading this now, you're relevant and share responsibility with those involved. Oh, what I do this time. Yes, I need swallow of SCP-2152's container chamber transmuted into what appeared to be an underlaid translucent material. As you are aware, the room situated on the opposite side of the east wall in the central or regulatory chamber for the entire site. This is not what we saw behind the translucent image. In terms of our, our reactions, there was initial panic, then guesswork. We were at first uncertain as to what we were looking at, but the research team had a general idea based on the proportions and positions of the shapes and colors behind the translucence. <clears throat> the idea is conflicted, but they all point towards the same idea. The wall stayed in this state of strange elucidity for roughly 20 minutes, then without warning, and to our surprise, the wall switched from translucent to crystalline transparency, physically turning the wall into a window. What we saw confirmed our speculation. It was very obviously an early morning cliffside at sunrise. We were absolutely dumbf dumbfounded. Firstly, we didn't know how or why the matter had reconstructed its reconstitute itself into the window in the first place. Never mind and the scene beyond. It had shifted in a similar fashion into that of a switchful smart glass, and the foundation uses for observing hostile skips undergoing testing. Or the kind you'd find in hospitals or nightclubs for privacy. As for the landscape, I couldn't describe it at the time without using the words beautiful or staggering. It was unnaturally bright, as if the image itself had been enhanced through the glass. I have yet to ask others, but I personally felt a monstrous, unconvincing sense of achievement while watching this dawn. There were these distant seabirds drifting over the ripples that seemed to bleed into the horizon, and through my mind I could hear the repeated phrase, This is my reward. Personally, I couldn't control that thought. It kept coming back to me, forcing itself upon me. It felt like home. It was unsatisfactory, forced, but it was home. 
I was getting all of these feelings from the observatory bay. I wasn't even in the containment chamber. Even after that 15 minutes of bliss, even after the East Wall reformed to its original plaster paint makeup, all I wanted to do was furnish the area with beanbags and draw through social media on my phone or something. Shortly after the big reveal, my associates took the liberty of photographing the scene. They then ran them through the Foundation's OK softwares. Mm. Excuse me. Attempting to identify the location presented, it's a sunny before us, assuming that it was a real world location. It was not. I realized that the ocean looked false. It seemed to always ripple forward into the distance, as if stuck in on some kind of loop. I've included a small portion of the photograph for the time being. It has been verified as perfectly safe for viewing. It has had no emotional effects on me whatsoever. In fact, when I think about it, I don't even think it looks anything like what I saw yesterday. Hmm. And it's a JPEG. Anyway. We'll be discussing this event at Daily re recap at uh, Recapitulation. That's a hard word to figure out how to pronounce. Meetings that begin next week, to which you have an obligation to attend. The most recent revision within the containment procedures cannot be stressed enough. No one enters the chamber but disposable personnel. I'm convinced that anyone, if they were in there with SCP-2152, could open that window if they wanted to. Director T.K. Hussein, Reliquary Unit 05. And that's SCP-2152, I think. I literally already forgot the number. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!